How are you? Good, it's good to see you. We are going to do story time together. And this story we're reading is The Minosaur by Suripta Bardhan Quaylen and illustrated by David Clark. What does Minosaur sound like to you? Yeah, it sounds like dinosaur. So this book is about sharing. We're going to be talking about sharing as we read it. Is sharing always easy to do? No. And it's something when you're two, three, four, and five, that's when you learn how to share. And so anytime we learn something new, sometimes it can be challenging for a while. And just practice, practice, practice. And if we make mistakes, that's okay because that's a part of learning, right? <clears throat> One morning before Mrs. Raptor rang the bell, the dinosaurs were playing in the schoolyard. So this is Mrs. Raptor. That's the teacher. That's their schoolhouse. All of a sudden they heard a roar. Mine, mine, mine. Oh no, muttered Stegosaurus, here comes the Minosaur. Do you think they're excited to play with Minosaur? Yeah, it doesn't sound like it, does it? He snatched the jump rope and the ball. He threw the cars against the wall and then he roared to one and all, mine, mine, Mine. Iguanodon said, that's not fair. Triteratops said, you should share. But Minosaur yelled, I don't care. They're mine, mine, mine. How do you think they feel? Yeah. How do you think he feels when his friends see him coming and they don't want to play with him? Yeah, I would imagine that would feel pretty bad, right? Right then the bell rang. Minosaur hugged the toys and sighed, all mine. You're late, Mrs. Raptor said when Minosaur finally came to class. Now you'll have to paint your project during snack time. Does teacher, does this teacher seem to be happy right now? Yeah. We'll see. But the time, by the time Minosaur finished, Snack time was in full swing. Minosaur rushed on ahead. He snatched the scones and strudel bread. He bit the butter tarts and said, they're mine, mine, mine. What's happening? Yeah, it looks like he just went and took his friend's snacks and started eating them. Have you ever had that happen where you're eating somebody, some, you're eating something and somebody comes up and just takes it and eats it? Yeah, how would that make you feel? Yeah, I would feel frustrated, which is a lot like anger, frustrated. That's our food, yelled Apatosaur. No, it's not, cried Minosaur. And soon there was a tug of war and he wailed, mine. The rest of the class can go out for recess, Mrs. Raptor said. You will stay here until you clean up this mess.
Minosaur scowled a bit and bit into a scone. At least the food's all mine, he grumbled. But the feast wasn't as much fun when it was made for one. Do you think that he's happy he got all the food? Do you also think it's possible he's missing his friends? Now let's see. At recess, Minosaur saw the other dinosaurs having fun building a tower. His arms were flailing all around. The tower tumbled to the ground. He grabbed a bunch of blocks and frowned. They're mine, mine, mine. Have you ever been playing with blocks or Legos or magnet tiles and then someone comes up and destroys what you've built? Yeah. Did you, did you like that when that happened? No, no. Most people don't. How could you, yelled Iguana Dawn. It's wrecked now, said P. Minosaur said, oh, come on, these blocks are mine. The dinos rolled their eyes. Finally, Triteris Triceratops said, let's go, guys. So you see, they're going to play somewhere else, right? I don't need them anyway, said Minosaur. I'll build a better tower by myself. Look at this, he shouted, the biggest tower ever but there was no dino around to hear. He built a big tower and he's so proud of himself, but where are his friends? Yeah, they went to play somewhere else. And do you think that his friends didn't want to play with him because they don't like him? Or do you think it's possible they didn't want to play with him because he wasn't sharing it all with them? Yeah. At the other end of the yard, the rest of the dinos were laughing and playing. They didn't seem to miss the Minosaur at all. The Minosaur began to shake. There's nothing left for me to take. No toys at all for goodness sake. And they don't care. How is he feeling? sad, lonely, probably. Maybe he feels bad for what he did to his friends. And he thinks his friends don't care about him. Do you think that's true? Yeah, I think it's more likely that his friends couldn't play with him if he absolutely wouldn't share. But like I said in the beginning, when we're learning we make mistakes and it's important to understand when you should give someone another chance. Minosaur wanted to laugh and play too. So he gathered up all the stuff that was his and headed towards the dinos. Minosaur asked, want some snacks? The other dinos turned their backs I brought the blocks for us to stack. Come on, let's share. Do they want to share? No. It's possible that they just don't believe that Minosaur is going to share with them. So they need to make the decision whether they're going to give him another chance. And Minosaur, he needs to make a choice that he can show them that he can play with them and share at the same time. Minosaur tried saying, please, I've brought some toys, I'll give you these. The dinos stared down at their knees. They just didn't care. Okay then, 
said Minosaur. He put all his stuff down. You guys should play. How's he feeling? Yeah. Super sad. The Dinos looked at each other. Isn't this your stuff? asked Stegosaurus. Minosaur shook his head. I shouldn't have taken it. Do you think Minosaur is realizing if he's going to play with his friends that maybe he should take turns and share? Yeah. Does that mean that Minosaur is bad? It's more likely that Minosaur is just learning and he's learning by acting a certain way with his friends that he might not think is bad because maybe Minosaur just wants to play with all the fun stuff. Have you ever done that where you see something that someone's playing with and you just can't think about anything but wanting to play with that so bad and maybe you even took it from someone? Yeah. So once Minosaur saw that how he was behaving, how he was treating his friends, he was doing it over and over again and his friends were basically tell him, telling him that's not okay. You can't play with us if you're not gonna share. And then Minus sort of thought about it. And once he thought about it, he realized that was right. And I think the, real, the reason he realized it was right is because when you think about treating people certain ways, you wanna think about how do you wanna be treated? Right? So I have two rules in my classroom when we go back on site. We'll talk about them every day. And the two rules are be kind and be safe. So those would have been two good rules for, for Minosaur. <laughs> Minosaur was still walking when, the, when he heard the dinos shout, wait. They said, we wanna play with you. Said Minosaur, you really do? The dinos nodded, yes, it's true. If you will share, it's fine. Minosaur yelled, it's a deal. I have the thing I want, he squealed. You don't know how this makes me feel. You're my friends, all mine. How does he feel now? He looks like he feels happy. He listened to his friends. He listened to what his friends were telling him. And then he probably thought, well, how do I want to be treated? If I'm playing with my friends, do I want them to take the toys away from me every time I play with something or destroy my building that I'm building or eat my food? Right? No, no, nobody would like that. Nobody would enjoy that. So then he thought about maybe how he would want to be treated. And then he came back to his friends and let them know that he was going to behave differently. And it doesn't mean that he's necessarily a bad person at all. It just means that as he's learning and growing, he made a mistake because that's what happens when we learn and grow. And then he was able to say, I'm gonna share with you guys and his friends accepted him. This page says, mine, mine, mine. The end. So do you think Minosaur cared more about his things, his toys, his food, all of his things? Or do you think he cared more about his friends? In the beginning of the story, it was hard to tell. It seemed like he really just wanted to play with everything he wanted to play with right then and there, regardless of who had it. But then as the story goes along, we learn that he values his friends very much. He cares about his friends much more than he cared about his toys. And that's what caused him to try and change. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. We'll see you later.
拜。